Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to another vlog with me, Seppi. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. I don't know why I keep ruining my intros for the past like five vlogs, but oh well, we'll get over it. Basically, today, I'm starting this vlog off, I am off to an event at Christian Louboutin. Um, it's basically for like people who shop from them regularly like it's not like a blogger event or something is basically what I'm trying to say it's like a customer event um they have this event that they invited me to they also invited my sisters but they can't make it and um my cousin's also coming my cousin Nico I don't know if I can convince her to come on the blog but um we're going to this event um in the Mount Street store which I'm really looking forward to. Um, it is a Friday night and I'll show you guys my outfit. If you watch my Zara, uh, stop pointing. If you watch my Zara haul, then you would know this outfit from it. Let me show you. So I'm wearing this pinafore dress from Zara. Um, this stole is from Bloomingdale's. My bag is Louis Vuitton and my shoes are Christian Louboutins that I got as a gift for my 21st um, birthday they are one of my fave pairs actually yeah they're, they're one of my fav I don't know I have like two favorites and this is like up there like joint first went for a bit of like a classy vibe it didn't like it wasn't on purpose I just feel like this scarf went well and I didn't really have any coats I wanted to wear over this because the weather's like 20 degrees so yeah I'm just gonna be heading to that event and I'll try and give you guys a sneak peek of their new seasons collection if they let me record <laughs> So I just got back home and Sina's here. She's literally standing in front of me, but she's not wearing any clothes. I think so. Let me go first. I don't know why. Um, all right, go, go, go. Um, whilst I'm waiting for Sina, she's meant to be dressed, I'll show you guys quickly my outfit. Um, I probably should have worn my heels, but I'm wearing this kind of body, uh, what is it called? A jumpsuit, but it's with shorts and it's from Shop Toby. And I've kind of pinned the front a bit, but it kind of looks like it could be my bra strap, like no one can tell. And as per usual, just dazzled it up with um, my gold bugle, but it's not focusing. But I love like gold. And so I wore this jumper over it just to hide because we're going um, somewhere beforehand, and this would have been really OTT. But Sana, come show your outfit to the vlog. It's Oh, hello, honey. Hello. If you don't follow Sina on Instagram, make sure you check her out. She's at Persian Honey. And you look so beautiful. I love your long, dark hair. I'll try and vlog some stuff on my phone, but we're going to be drinking, so just bear that in mind. You look so pretty. You look beautiful. Yeah. Where's your jacket? Downstairs. Hurry up, Uber's here. You look so hot. So, it is the next morning. Actually, it's like afternoon now. Um, Sina and I went out last night, I think you guys saw us all dressed up, I think that's the last thing you saw. Um, and we're now gonna go get brunch. Bonjour. We've both got like large sunglasses. Your outfit's cute. It's wearing a top, shorts and sandals. We're I'm both wearing, wearing sand from my tops from a set Persian buttons cover. Yeah, she's wearing my top. We're both wearing sandals because we want to get pedicures. I'm literally just wearing a corduroy jacket from Topshop from my latest haul. This is from Forever 21 and these jeans are my favourite Zara jeans and just sandals. I match the car. Ugh, don't talk about car washes. My car is a mess. Literally, like, I've given up. I look better without my sunglasses to be honest. If you guys watch my wild weekend vlog, oh my god, the bags under my eyes. I had like emptied my whole Kiehl's eye cream. It's really good by the way, I really recommend it. Really? The Kiehl's creamy eye cream, yeah, it's so good. One. Yeah, I love it. Um, but I literally emptied the whole thing under my eyes. It was a nightmare. Okay, let's, let's get some food or something. I'm so excited for food. We just bumped into one of our friends. But I'm not gonna show him because he's too special. He needs his own vlog. But if he sees this, he'll know. He knows me. <laughs> That's like a wasp. So annoying. So Sino and I both got white toes for our pedicure. 
Um, I haven't really decided what I want to do tonight. Part of me feels like, it's Saturday night by the way. Part of me feels like I just want to sit at home and relax. Or maybe like maximum I'll just go and have like a dinner with one of my friends. It's like whenever you say that things get dangerous. Listen, everyone in the world, when you turn around and you say tonight I'm gonna have a relaxing night, no. That happened to me in Literally. the vlog two weeks ago. I'm not gonna make a fool of myself twice in a row. Watch for the end of this vlog and see what happens and what she does tonight. Look who is back! Oh, hi. Tell the vlog what you did all ever since you got back. She got back like three hours ago. Tell them what you did. Nothing. Tell them what you did because I say it in every vlog that you're gonna do this. <laughs> say it. Yes. Just I tied you up. That's it. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Tidy up is an understatement. She has, like, she's like, I can't wait for the cleaner. <laughs> Honestly. Hey, but real talks, guys. If you're Persian, I get Iranian has seen, and you're like from London, did your parents even go to Iran if they don't come back with new Iranian appliances? Polopaz, you know? So, Polopaz, a Polopaz is a rice cooker. Um, so, yeah, they literally. <laughs> Oh, there's two on the other side apparently. So they've come out with like eight. What are you gonna do with four rice cookers? One for cider, one for Sebida? But Sebida lives at home with yourself. I know. Um, but yeah, the house is so clean now that she's here. You guys, like, as in, I couldn't even vlog in the house. My face looks super shiny because I did my makeup in the morning. I couldn't even vlog in the house because it was so messy. Dad, where are you? I want to film a Q&A with my dad because everyone has so many questions that they want to ask him. So put your questions down below. Hello! <laughs> did you guys miss my dad in the vlogs? Everyone says that they prefer our family vlogs. So, you know... The main man is back, the king. <laughs> but my mum has also cooked food, I'm gonna show you guys. I haven't had like Persian home cooked food since before I went away to Turkey. So if you guys have my travel vlogs, Turkey was vlog number like four of like nine. So I haven't had home cooked food in میشه کمک کنیم رو بذاریم بالا به خودش کمک کنیم وقتی بهشون میگه خانم میگم اینو میذاریم بالا یه کالت اینجا خب خب دوست دارم من همه چیز دشت با خلا فلا با ماهی چی ماهی چی نبود اولا بردشم خوب نبود بعد خیلی جالبه You're so funny. She me tarsi. Tarsi. Basically, we all flew back with him. He's moaning, saying that the service. So, what airline do you like then? Qatar, Emirates. با من از همه بیشتر اونی که دوست دارم چیز مسقطه از اون طرف اومانه اومانه اوکی مور استوری بعد ترش think that their flights are worth i don't can i just be honest with you yeah i don't think um business class is uh worth paying for i feel like when i've traveled business class with them like the economy service was better okay so please don't please ignore this really freshy like tablecloth like literally all of them are messy because i haven't done any like housework or anything as you guys know from all the other vlogs but look at this food wow <laughs> yummy <Okay>. thanks mom <laughs> i cannot even explain to you guys how difficult it was to wake up this morning and i feel so tired. Um, I feel
feel like commuting for two hours each way well it varies but like one and a half to two hours each way is really starting to take its toll on me so um we've been doing ward rounds that are like six hours long um so like from 9 a.m to about three and you don't really get a break at all until that's done so um i think i just need to start carrying around like a water bottle or something otherwise i'm just gonna be very dehydrated and i really don't want to wear makeup so i'm literally just gonna put concealer over my blemishes <laughs> you know everyone is gonna see this my mum just said she is gonna look like a freshie because they're sharing <laughs> My dad thinks that they look like basically in Iran when you just well, get married, you share a plate. Yeah. So these two are sharing a plate for their dinner. <laughs> to be fair, they never no, ever do I this. <laughs> you guys, you guys, if you're Iranian, even Middle Eastern, please confirm this to me. Does your dad over exaggerate how in love your mum was with your dad back in the day? <laughs> Literally, if I don't know. Still, I love him. Cheese of ball. Course. No, I co of course I love him. <laughs> but not like that. Not like and what? <laughs> So today is the, a Wednesday and I feel like I've caught a bit of a cold, like not a proper cold because I don't have a temperature or anything, but my tongue feels weird. Ah, I feel like I've got swollen tonsils and yeah i'm just i'm not feeling a hundred percent myself basically but not anything bad enough where i feel sick so i went to the gym today with andy um that was really nice i went to uni i'm doing another um project so if you guys have been watching my vlogs for some time you'll know i did a project over summer in the neonatal unit at my uni so i am doing another one with the same consultant so hopefully that means he was happy. Oh my God, you guys, I need to stop moving this and this and this. What did you enjoy the most this time about going to Iran? Mashhad. Mm, but you are from Mashhad, so what did you enjoy? I enjoyed the, everything, food, weather, fruit. Okay. The fruit. And be honest, because you've just come from Iran. Um, right now, one pound is 17 toman, 17 point, 17 point what? If there is or if there is or Okay. 17,000 toman. The people are struggling? A lot. Mm. I just wanted to give that insight because when people watched my Tehran vlog, um, people were very quick to say we are out of touch uh, with Iran. First of all, my family don't live in Iran. We go there for vacation. I feel like this isn't focused. We go there for vacation, and yeah, we have a life over there, but we don't live over there. So people are very quick to jump to conclusions. I have a lovely family. Over. My mum has a lovely family. <laughs> <laughs> so does my dad. Um, but people are very quick to jump to conclusions that we're very out of touch because of the lifestyle that we live in Iran or that we do nothing to help people or whatever. We're not out of touch. We do know what's going on. We do do things about it, but maybe that's not what I want to show of Iran in the vlog because I did get the response that I wanted in that loads of people were like, oh, I thought that Iran was nothing like that. And I just wanted to show you guys my what I get up to when I go to Iran and not talking about politics, not talking about anything controversial because I don't like talking about stuff like that. Um, and that's just me personally. So I just wanted to tell you guys from our my family to you, all of you guys who we love so much, we're not out of touch. We do know what is going on in Iran. We're not oblivious to it. And we, like I said, have relatives over there as well who live there. So we know people who are suffering from this situation. So that's what I wanted to say. Um, and we do love the country. We do love 
We love it. We're Iranians. We love it. I wouldn't be Persian bunny if I didn't love Iran, is what I'm trying to say. So I literally got home two hours ago and it's not gonna be a seppy vlog. It's not gonna be a Persian bunny vlog if you don't hear me with a croaky voice. Like then I'd be lying to you. So I got home two hours ago. Oh my God, why do my eyes look like this? They've been so itchy all day. I got home two hours ago and I was just dead. Like I just, it catches up with you if you don't sleep. And for me, commuting, um, as you can see, is just taking its toll. I mean, my eyes, I don't know why they're itchy, but I'm just tired. So it's not actually the work that I do on the wards that makes me tired, but more like the commuting. So if you can live out, I recommend it. I couldn't live out because um, my parent for this placement specifically, because my parents weren't back yet. So yeah, it just didn't really make it possible for me. Um, but now that they're back, I think for my next few placements, I'm definitely gonna be living out um, if it's further than my uni, because I just, I can't. I can take an hour each way commute, like that's completely fine. Um, but like one hour 45 like as in I'm just I did work on the way there on the way back. I was like So <laughs> if you ever catch me on a tube um, Just like literally sleeping like feel free to wake me up um, And say hey <laughs> Because you're probably not gonna catch me awake in peak hours. I'm always so exhausted So my plan for the rest of the day is probably study for a couple of hours, take a shower, and then at about um, nine o'clock, I'm gonna go see my friend Christina. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna relax because it's a Thursday night. Sol is back tomorrow. I know so many of you guys comment my, uh, under my blog saying that you miss her. She's back tomorrow, Sign is back today. So you guys will see them both, hopefully in the next vlog. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed catching up with my parents. If you guys have watched any of my holiday vlogs, then they play such a big part in them. So, and a big part in my life. That was so silly to me. Um, but if there's any funny videos or any videos at all that you think of that you wanna see me film with my parents, then let me know and um, I'll try and convince them too. Um, but yeah, love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out my socials. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny. And my Snap is Sepi Samai. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.